Hey, so we've been not absent, but haven't been doing as many videos of the work that we've been doing um, because we haven't really done any big construction. We, we, we moved in a week ago full time. And um, so we've been doing things like hanging curtains and closet poles and whatnot. So I'm going to take you through. We are going to do a teaching video today. Um, are informational, but we already did one. Okay, we're in the kids' room. It is, it's a mess right now because they're still like getting things done. So hang on, I'm gonna take it off of me. Um, we got this closet poles put in, so now they're working on that. And this, to me, was gonna be so simple because you just stick a closet pole up. But that is right behind that fake wallpaper sheetrock stuff that they put up is concrete or steel plate or something. We really, I'm not actually sure. Um, but it was not as easy as we thought. So curtains were a must in here because, uh, we'll just show the other side because, um, these are West facing windows. Let me pan out here. These are West facing windows. So when the sun sets, this is like a magnifying glass in here. And I already had these curtains. They were hanging in our other house. So here's how we hung it, okay? Do you see this? Do you see that little wire going across? See that wire? We got that wire 50 feet for $10 in a roll at Menards. Then, okay, well, and I'll show you all these closer up because we're gonna actually hang some. You see, we just put an eye hook, an eye hook right Oh, well, it's going to change focus on that end. Then we put a toggle that tightens and then a little U-bolt around the rest of that wire and then stretched it the full length, which is about 30 feet of across. And then we did put an eye bolt in the middle just to help support it. Um, and that way we can pretty easily open and close these windows at will. But the toggle system is what we're going to show you guys how to do today and what steps that takes, especially when going into a concrete wall. Okay, this is the room that we are going to put a curtain up. Not because these curtains will be closed very often because I really do like to let the light in. This is my office and it does also face west, which means it's hot as the sun goes down. So depending on the height of my curtains, I have to measure them as we get going here. But while he's gathering the tools needed, again, concrete or plaster walls going into who knows what. And same on the other side up here. We don't actually know what's behind those walls. So it is always a mystery. Um, this is the wire. And it is, it's coated as well, which doesn't mean a whole lot to me. And then you can see, can you see that wire, the uh, braided wire on the inside. So how this is gonna work is, hang on, I'll get you out the parts and pieces here. This, it's a pretty cool setup, okay? Um, I'm going to get it to where, hang on, hang on here, okay, and I don't know how we'll do as far as focusing, but, all right, this is, you guys don't get dizzy on me, okay, mm -hmm. all right, you're just going to see my feet, and that's okay. So this is what I call a U-bolt, for lack of me knowing what I'm talking about. See this U-bolt? I'm just going to rip the tag off. Again, we got all of this at Menards, but pretty much I'm guessing any home improvement store has it. Wow, they really, they really put these stickers on there. Good. Sheesh. And I don't want to say these were very much money. I mean, just a couple, a couple bucks maybe. Sorry, I keep leaving the scope. Okay. 
And I'm just really trying to get that sticker off. Scissors probably would have just made that easier, but here it is. So, okay, now you can really see that U bolt. Um, and what I'm gonna do is we're gonna thread. Okay, I'm gonna loosen these to as loose as they'll go, actually. I'm not gonna take it off because I'm lazy and that's just gonna be a time saver for me to just, oops, for me to just loosen these bolts, okay? This is a super easy system. Here's the thing, if you've ever purchased curtain rods, you will know that they are not, they are not inexpensive, okay? They are kind of expensive to purchase. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna feed this through. Do you see this wire just feeds through that U-bolt? And then watch what I'm gonna do here because I'm just gonna feed it back into itself. Do you see that gap? That gap is where you just feed that back through, back through that loop, just like that. Look, and then you tighten up those bolts and then look, you've got that hook very easy to hang. So I'm going to back out. James is here. We don't have tight nut yet, do we? Yeah. We oh, James is here. So he's going to do that. And I'm going to let you guys know how that goes. I kind of want this to be a little loop on this one because there's not a lot of space on the end and the toggles are long. So I'm going to make, I'm going to pull that through. See to where I just have a little loop, like my finger won't even go in there. And James is going to tighten that up. So he just gets a wrench and that's it, he just tightens. I was telling them that every project is kind of a bigger project than it seems because of concrete walls or steel plates or mystery yeah. mystery items. The thing is, if you have the right tools, it helps. Yeah. Because it's kind of like, oh, I brought this in to do it, and then it's like, oh, that's not gonna work, so now I need to go get another tool. Oh, yes, we tried to drill with a regular drill bit into the walls, and the walls laughed at us. But then when he got the hammer drill, no, what is yep, that? Hammer drill. A hammer drill with a concrete, was it a masonry bit? It's, it's a, you know, like a concrete bit. Then I can show you the difference. It there. was like easy peasy. It's actually, I'd also help too, the, I mean, you can buy, there's some tools that you can buy cheap that work. You can buy a, a cheap wrench, it works, it just does that. But if you get like a Milwaukee hammer drill, yeah, well worth it. It drills holes like monster. In anything. Yes, I've had cheap hammer drills and you break That's bits. how they work. Yeah, you can break bits, you get frustrated and they're so much more work than what it's worth. And so if you just spend a little extra money, it's worth it. Like I said, there's some tools that you can buy cheap. I mean, I don't know. I buy a skill saw that's cheaper and you put a good blade on it. A skill tall saw turns a blade. They all do the same thing. If you have a good blade on it, it's going to cut it good. So would you say this is an eight foot tall ceiling or is this taller? Um, it's closer to nine foot. Okay. I'm going to show them the where's rest that, of the material. I'm hoping you didn't make that hook too small. Oh, right there. Um, so this is the other parts that we need. We needed a, a right in that Menards bag there. We needed a big U bolt. We're gonna have or a big eye bolt. This will be one at either end, and then we needed another U bit. Now when we run this, watch out, daddy girl. Watch out, daddy girl. Oh, that's how she keeps getting in. Um, okay, when we run this. This, we're not gonna have a toggle at the other end. We're gonna run the wire through this end and then feed it right into this to save one end because we don't need to, it's not that big of a span. This is uh, maybe 13 feet in here maybe. Let me see the toggle. Um, so it, we did pick a stout toggle. They have smaller ones. These are not much money. We're talking a buck 50 at most for one of these. And it tightens that wire up to where um, it's gonna hold that wire in place. Now, when when if I would have purchased a um, curtain rod for in here, in here curtain rod would have been anywhere from thirty to fifty dollars easily. Um, but this we got fifty feet of this wire for ten bucks, and we used thirty feet in there. 
30-ish, and now we have the remainder for in here. So you're talking way less money. When you're doing a building the size of this, we have to consider money. We don't have that million dollar budget. We don't even have a you know, thousand air budget or stuff like this. So this is figure out a way to do it and figure out how to do it inexpensively. So that's what all of our projects are gonna be. We'll splurge in some areas, but in most areas, we're going to show you ways that you can do and get that high-end look without breaking the bank. Um, so let's look at his tools. He's got, is this the hammer drill? Yes. And this does have a cord. I think they make cordless hammer drills, right? Yeah. But you're yeah. going to get more power out of a corded one. They do and you're not going to burn it up. But look nice. at these bits. Okay. These are concrete. These are not sharp. These are, like, dull. So I don't understand. It's got a, a special tip on it. Ugh, that see sound. The, see that tip? Um, is, see it's tip? blunt. No, see the tip. Well, see the bigger one? Oh. See the, that tip? Yeah. That's kind of a special tip for going into concrete. Oh, well, perfect. You're going to see he makes very quick work of that. I'm going to step out so that we can zoom in a little bit. Um, and then... You know what we didn't do? I ran that, you tightened that up, but I needed to run that through the eye bolt. It'll no? Be fine. We'll hook. Oh, we'll and hook then do it later? End, run okay. it over here, run it through it, and then I'll figure out what length. Okay. And so, how tall is this ladder? This is an eight footer? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, it must be nine foot ceilings. Okay, where are you thinking your bed? Um, oh, I need to, can you hang, can you hold this curtain up for me so I can see? There's probably wood right there. Oh, that's awesome. Um, I need to, um, I, oh. no, it'll be farther down. I need to measure. Oh, okay, because it's not going to the Yes, it, these aren't that long. So the height of the curtains is going to determine the height of our wire. Let me see here. Where's, I got the bottom. Um, part. yeah, hold that. That's the wide end. Hold it the narrow end. Either end. I mean, it doesn't matter. Um, and then, so I want it to just brush down 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 like right there i think that looks like a good a good height it hits that windowsill in the low spot i just wanted to make sure it what, does cover so what do you think? um right right here in the middle right there that height so i should go right like that you think yeah yeah like right in there sorry we're trying to determine curtain height and now he's going to, I'm going to try to get close so that you guys can kind of see. Would you hear me the bolt there? Sure. He's wanting the eye bolt. Is that what that's called? That's what yeah. I call it. just want to make sure I don't do it so I can't twist it. You know? Oh, yeah, because it's going to hit the it, wall uh, and then. Yeah. So. And this room is going to get painted. Um, this actually may be a pretty quick project for me. Like, I love to paint. So, okay, it's going to get noisy. He's going to hammer drill. Okay, so and we just have a little hole. The key, you don't, you want to make sure that you don't drill too big of a hole for your eye hook because it needs that teeth to grind into on the wall. I don't know if that's what that's called, but that's what I call it. Ew, do you hear that? It sounds like a critter lives in the walls. Ew. Gross, does that not make you cringe? <laughs> Yucky. Okay, now it's he's did it like finger tight as big, big better as blah, blah, blah. Can't talk. <laughs> Best blah, blah. as he could turn. And blah, now blah. he takes a screwdriver. Oh, he's taking the wrench. You just slip that wrench in. Don't panic at this point. Slip the wrench in to get that leverage or a screwdriver or something. I mean, I've probably used a butter knife to do this before because butter knives can be used for everything. And then you'll get at least a portion. And he's going to send that in as far as it can go. Meanwhile, let's just admire my bulletin board that's been here since the 20s when the school was built. 
This behind here, I hung this, but look, I'll just, look, there's a hole. This was where the principal would look down on study hall and it looks down into what was the study hall. Now look, it's like this little porthole. She could look out here and go, Johnny, get to my office. But now I just like to have it because it's really cool, right? And then one day that, that space will overlook our bedroom, um, but it's my office so I can like watch James sleep. That's not creepy at all. Because I'm going to get so much of that. Yeah. You have nothing else to do. Okay, so he's just finishing this up. He's taking his own sweet time about it. Okay. I think that's good. All right. And he's happy with that. Holy hell, it is hot in here. It is getting a little warm. Uh-huh. Good gravy. The Oh, did you guys want to see this? So my window didn't come with a screen, but I needed the window open. So I would open the window, but then wasps would come in. So look at this, because I am clever. I took a big old fat ruler, a yardstick, and then I clipped it. That is cleverness right there. Okay, at I'm gonna. At its finest. Yeah, it is. I'm gonna. Oh, yeah, I got a cramp in my belly. I Okay. All right, and now he's gonna go to the other spot. Is that the only plug-in, maybe, or is there one closer? Oh, it's a mystery. Plug-ins are a mystery around here. When you buy a hundred-year-old building, like sometimes it's not ideal for plug-ins and things. Do you need me to go find an extension cord? Probably gonna need a little one. We're gonna get the same measurement. I don't know. He's measuring. I usually eyeball. I usually just put multiple holes in the wall, but that's frowned upon. The other day when we were hanging the closet poles, by, by we, I mean him, and I supervised, um, he had to put two holes close together, and he felt the wall crumble behind it. Behind that icky fake wall, we had to re rethink our where we were going to put it because the wall like gave out behind it. Mm -hmm. um, but here we go. He's He's actually quite precise and sometimes measures not right, but most of the time probably right. You better say the right things, woman, if you want more projects. I know, I know. <laughs> and then this was out in the stone building. This was an original locker room seat. I just want you to appreciate the fact that we are now giant humans. This has only ever been a high school or a junior high and I'm going to have James sit on that because he's like what I would call an overly tall average man. Like, but look at this. This um, tiny little dwarf of a man or giant of a man sitting on this teeny tiny bench. And, okay. And all the handrails are at a weirdly low height too. Like, people were smaller before we, like, growth hormoned our food or something. I don't even know. Like, we would be straight Amazons in their world to, today. Now, how do you word that? Had we... Oh, there's a mud dauber nest in my light. Those little suckers have taken over. There's one right under there, too. Yeah, but this might be actually better. Which? Oh, the one up high? Yeah. Finding plugins is tricky business. When the school was built before internet. And power tools. Did they have power tools in the 1920s? I don't believe so. I don't know either. Um, we're just going to make this work. So that didn't work. Well, it did. It pulled right. out. Do you have to go back in? Uh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very famous friend. There's no video. nice way to say that. Wow. You said that. Yeah, I did. Stand by that statement.
It looks like they've done some patchwork over here. So. Mm. Is that what you're blaming this on? Well, you come look. I don't want to. I trust you. There is patchwork here. I hope this gets tougher. If it doesn't... Oh! We might have to... Uh, what? It is getting tougher. Oh, good. I see. There's always wicked epoxy. That, that oh. feels like a lot of work. Well, sometimes you have to do it. Remember you said every project. I know. Every single project is a new can of worms. Like some of the worms are just rotten. <laughs> and some of them are doable. But Wait. What are you filming? Oh. You putting a screw <laughs> in. When I turned around, I thought you had been filming and thought you were filming me. I, oh. <laughs> Uh, uh, okay, look at this mud dollar nest. Seriously, what is up with the stupid mud dollars? They're freaking everywhere. And what? Plus, this is the ugliest light known to humankind. If you have an uglier light, I'd love to see a photo of the uglier light than this, because I don't think it exists. It's sad. Norwex is gonna have to buy me a new light. Oh, you gonna be able to up the ice machine tonight? Oh no, ice machine stays. I told him, I said, my new purpose in life is to work for a sonic ice machine. My brother has one. He says it'll change your world. <laughs> so my parents got one and it does, it changes your world. It continually makes sonic rabbit turd ice and it just melts off what you don't use and just always fresh soft ice. And it's a little pricey than your average ice, but so worth it. And I've almost earned enough to buy me the ice machine. Like, I'm not even making any apologies for this. It is a luxury, and I'm totally, it's now a necessity. I'm just saying. It will change your life. It will, it'll change my yeah, life. I'm sure. Um, I go over every day and fill a two gallon water jug with that's, that's, sonic rabbit turd ice. That's how it's changing lives. You go visit your parents. I every do day. every day. It's lovely. Oh, hang on. We're missing it. Okay. Toggle. Do you see the toggle on the toggle? How many times can you say toggle? Well, that is a massive toggle. What were we thinking? That's we um, didn't need that. I was not involved in the purchase of I this one. I was. What did I do? Look, it's like half the distance of the wall. We could have just done a couple more toggles. And Good no gravy. I mean, for real, the toggle is giant number. Oh, if I hear you say toggle, I'm toggle, to... toggle, bow boggle, banana, fan up, bow foggle. Wait. Me, toggle. my mo moggle. Toggle. Is in, yeah, what? And go like this and tighten your Can down. we toggle it? What should we do before? Oh, hang the curtains. <laughs> That's right. a good one. You don't want to miss right. that. Um, all right, we're going to string up the curtains real quick. I'm going to put you on pause. I know you're super sad to Mario. see the. Hey. Okay, have you missed us? Right. We, did I put them on backwards? Sometimes I do that. Oh, no. Okay, we put three curtain panels on. These are blackout curtain panels, which I'm a sunshine girl. Oh my goodness, we're so tangled up. Um, I'm a sunshine girl, but not when it feels like a microscope on my freaking face. So we put up three curtain panels, which will give it to where when you're closing it, it's not like so flat. It'll have some personality. We did not agree on the amount of curtain panels. Okay, so this is where we're saving the world's largest toggle, and we're just going through it. So, did you put it on one end of the U? There he is. He forgot. No, I didn't. I did it before you even said it. I me. doubt it. You can't prove it. It wasn't on video. Yeah, actually, I think it was. No, it was not. You don't know. Yeah. All right, so You he, wanted me to hang the wire before I even put curtains he, up. I was excited about the wire. Okay. So he hooked it through that little U-E thingy, the U-bolt. I don't even know if that's what it's called, but it has a U in it. So, and now he's going to shimmy that right on back through. 
And then he's going to use that world's biggest toggle at the other end and tighten her up. He needs to do some tightening in the kids' room because it's sagging. Is it really? Yeah. It's What'd pulling, you do? It's pulling a droop. Saggy britches are out, That's but saggy curtains rock. Jeez, I feel, I'm hot. I need a break. Wait, now, oh. what did you do there? <laughs> Dingleberry. <laughs> Why did you get two toggles? Uh -huh. Two world's biggest toggles? We wouldn't need curtains. Just toggle it. Oh. Toggle. Toggle, toggle. Oh my gosh, I can't handle toggle. Toggle. Awesome. <laughs> Tighten the toggle. So good. I can handle my wife calling me names, but I can't handle her saying the word toggle. Toggle. Where, where do you even, I mean, come, where are you from? Boston. From a toggle. How do you say it? Toggle? That's what I said. Oh, uh, okay. I exactly said a toggle. <laughs> how, I don't know how the I think I'm I think you just don't like the word. Don't be a word hater. I think I have a crack in my wall. I do. That might be a cobweb, I don't know. This wall's icky mcgicky. It needs to be painted. Oh looky there. And just like that. The lights went out in Georgia. Don't do rebel. <laughs> you want me to run another song for you? I can. I can toggle it up. Oh, do you need help? I feel like I might fall. Okay, I'll pull. See, I'm pulling on one end. I'm not really helping, but. Ow, that wall hurt my knuckle. Would you, uh, you, what? you see the wrench anywhere? Mm. Turn the camera around. Is that it? Your butt? <laughs> wrench, oh, oh wrench. wrench. Where are you, wrench? What did you do oh, with I it? I stuck in front of me. Oh. <laughs> That's where to make you look. Gotcha. You got punk. What, what kind of vibe is this? Like, he's got his hip all kicked out. <laughs> Just chilling. You know how I do. I mean, right now, this is a 30-minute video, so I don't know how many people are still Wait, watching. this is 30 minutes? Yeah, how slow are Good you? Good Lord. What are you doing? For the love of all things holy, man, just put a curtain up. What are you doing, Mommy? Daddy's hanging curtains, and Mommy's watching. Why do you have the phone? I'm supervising. I'm filming. For YouTube? Mm-hmm. I don't think you can post videos that long. Why? I don't know. I couldn't post videos that were more than 16 minutes on my phone. Hmm. <laughs> That'll might, be interesting. It might have to be a part one, two, and three. Well, it might just be my phone. You never know. Maybe you didn't have enough battery or not battery memory or something. Yeah, probably. Yeah, this is, these curtains are going to help. I mean, right now, I kind of would like them open for the breeze. Okay, this part's boring, so I'm going to pause you guys. All right, eight hours later... He's cutting this. This is very thick wire. You can't cut it with scissors. Durr. So he's just snapping off the extra of the toggle. <laughs> There's nothing to do with the toggle here. I know. There's <laughs> some snippage though. I just wanted to say it. Yeah, I did. Snip, snip. Do you need help? Do you need the muscles of the group? Oh, man. And I don't know, maybe he might be able to cut it. Well, I did cut it. I mean, it just takes a couple of these, tries. These look like the oldest snippers in oh. the world. Yeah, they're goodies. Bolt cutter might work better, but... Oh, there! I hear it. Yeah. It's like a mouse nibbling. There's that crunching noise yeah. that you just so I love. do, I do. Okay, now now we're going to watch the tightening. Do you see the sag? We're, we're, we're sagging a bit. We're sagging. I'm not going to show that. <laughs> That fad is gone. It only applies in curtains now. Okay, now he's just gonna, he's just gonna tighten the toggle. Look, and I'm gonna step back. He's just twisting that. I don't know what direction, the direction that tightened it. And then he's just gonna tighten, tighten, tighten. And then at some point he'll probably use a wrench, right? Yeah. Oh, shoot, I forgot my this size wrench. Oh, what did he do now? 
But there's a possibility I have a couple wrenches up here that might work. I have tools. A few. Oh, yeah. I left these up here to... I have wrenches. I, I don't think those look like the right size. Yeah. I didn't completely tighten it together. I know. I noticed that. Oh. Is that going to work? You're not tightening it. It's almost done. Well, what Good. the hey, man? What'd you use the other day? Uh... I think I just used my hand power. Oh, that would explain the droop in the other Oh room. my woman, you really are. You're really pushing it. Looking good. Oh, there you go. That's a fancy way to do it. Now you're a thinker. Oh, look at that. It's looking good. It's a little out of level. Did you measure twice and drill once, or did you drill once? Well, I measured and measured. I think and this ends a little higher. I'm not complaining. Probably, it's totally fine. It probably, uh, it's, uh. Look the, at the that. Ceiling, the ceiling's probably not Look level. at that loveliness. But, hang on, just so people can see. Here, what? Bring that camera closer. Okay. I hope I did this right. So let's measure down. Okay. What did you say about center about 19 I, inches? I don't know what that means. Yeah, that looks about, yeah, that's about center 19. of 19. Yeah. Oh, he really wants to prove it. He's he's holding his breath right now. I am. He's like, ah, oh, crap. Is she going to be right? 19 and almost. Oh. So, that's in it. theory, no, in theory, yeah, you're right. That would be a little higher. Yeah. Dang it. What happened? I have eagle freaking vision. How do you think she scoped this out? What? Okay, let's get, so on this end, this is obnoxious for a curtain to be, I don't want the taggle to show, so I'm gonna have James oh, feed that you, through. You might have put it in the wrong No, way. don't say that. Okay. It's gonna fit. It's gonna fit over the taggle, it's a sleeve for the taggle. Oh, man. Okay, we're gonna have to restring them. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, I did not think this through. Can we just cut the curtain? That can't happen. I have to, I can't look at that toggle the rest of my life. Mom, it's fine. Really, the curtains really matter? Oh, yeah. Gosh. I mean, I don't technically need that seam. I bet you if you would only put two curtains up, it would look better. I don't know. I don't think so. Mom, these clothes don't fit me anymore. What do I do with them? Um, it's three or four. Man, donate pile. Holy sh and look, what? if it would have been in the other one. It would have been per. Okay, can we redo it? No. Oh. Well, that doesn't affect you. That doesn't affect okay, you we may end up redoing this because that's going to bug me, but we'll just see. Guess what we're doing. What's this weed crap? Well, I'm videoing. I'm, I don't have a turd in my pocket. So, we're going to change the way that I hung them. Because I don't like the way that they were hung. That was my mistake. So, we're taking it down real quick. So, through the magic of television and James, we've restrung the curtains to my more... Liking my more, my more liking. My more. My more. Does it work? Have you? Does it go through it? Does it cover the taggle? Oh, good lord! <laughs> We're back here again. Yeah, we never left. Wow. Uh, save us all. Okay. Aren't you guys so excited to see the finished project? I realize you're not. Oh my gosh. I'm Thanks sure. for They're faking like, it. This is like watching an episode of like Miami Sands. Paint dry. It's like, like watching. Oh my gosh. I feel like this is as exciting as watching water boil or paint dry. Except if water could talk. Is that talking water? Yeah, that's exactly it. It's a talking toggle. Huh. Yeah, I squeezed that in. Who's excited? I am. Wee! There it goes. It's tightening, it's tightening. Can you get it tight enough not to sag? No saggage. And then I'll show you. We're talking about, um, okay, I'm going to paint this room. I think I'm going to go gray. 
I may leave the ceiling the way it is because it's pretty good. It looks like somebody just painted it. It's, it, it looks incredible. We're going to change that ugly light. And then, while he's doing his thing, Dang. look, that opening was closed in by some of that icky sheetrock wallpaper. He's going to cut that out for me so I can see out. And then we'll move the placement of the desk. The desk is a beast that no one likes, but it does serve a function. All right, how we looking? We, I thought he covered that. He didn't. What has he been doing? Gosh, it's hard to find good help these days. Not really. I mean, for you, it probably is hard work to find good help. For me, psh, I'm married it. Be jealous, ladies. Be jealous. So jealous. So freaking jealous. Oh, God. Brenda, be jealous. Don't you guys wish you could live in our world with us? That's awesome. It is. Oh, looky. No more taggle. Oh. Woohoo. Thank you. See, I feel so much better now. Ooh, you know what I didn't think about, though? When these curtains are open, it's a lopsided amount of curtains, yeah. which means one side's always going to be curtain heavy. And one side. Oh, oh my. Can we take them off and add one more curtain panel? Are you serious? No. Oh. <laughs> I mean, kind of, sort of, yeah, a little bit. But no. I like your term, curtain heavy. <laughs> that, I mean, come on. What? Where'd you learn that? I just made that up. I couldn't tell. Gosh, you're getting cut on the little hole. The little booger. The booger. The booger. So. This looks way better. Okay, let's shut them and see. So when they're shut, it's fine. We needed three. Mm -hmm. But when they're open, now who gets who gets heavier and who gets lighter? I see the heavier goes to the right. Oh, man, that's nice. That is really nice. I mean, it's dark, so this will only happen when it's microscopic out. Yeah, I think well, the other I think side. Even though you could, like... Do halvesies. Well, you could cover... The window that's not open, and yeah, that helps keep some of the sunlight out. Yeah, but then go to the right. I think it needs to go. I think the heaviness needs to go to the right. How many times can I say right in a sentence? Oh, it's okay. Go to that way. Yeah. Go to the right. Yeah. And then he's gonna try to fix my screen. Even oh, you can't really tell. It doesn't look bad, curtain heavy. Mommy. No, this looks great. Mom. Perfect job! Job well done! Handy McCandy pants. Ooh, 